Hi and welcome to the DE Physical Education Flip Learning videos. Year 9 Sports Science Classification of Joints and Movement Possible at Different Joints. Key term Movement Type Name used to identify direction of a movement at a joint. While most sporting actions require a combination of movement of many joints simultaneously, it is possible to isolate specific joint actions. The different movements at a joint on names for sporting actions can be described and analysed. When looking at joints, those that can perform many different movement types are seen as to have a large range of movement, while those restricted to a low number of movements are considered to have a low range of movement. Here are the different types of movement. Flexion, extension, abduction, adduction, rotation, circumduction, dorsiflexion and plantar flexion. Flexion is where the angle at the joint is decreased. Flexion occurs when bending at a joint or a condyloid joint. It can also be seen when a limb moves in the forward direction at a ball and socket joint. A great example of this is the elbow. As you can see, the forearm flexes as the bicep contracts and moves towards the face. A sporting example would be bicep curl. The opposite of this is extension. Extension is where the angle at the joint is increased. Extension occurs when a straightens a hinge joint or a condyloid joint. It can also be seen when a limb moves in the backwards direction at a ball and socket joint. This would be the downward phase of a bicep curl. Abduction and adduction. Abduction is where the limb moves away from the midpoint of the body. Abduction only occurs at a ball and socket joint and condyloid joints. This would be if you raised your arms from your hip up towards your head. A sporting example of this would be throwing a baseball. As the arm moves away from the midpoint of the body, it abducts. Adduction. Adduction is where the limb moves back towards the midpoint of the body. Adduction only occurs at a ball and socket joint and condyloid joints. Here you can see her arms move towards her hips and she adducts. A sporting example of this would be shooting in hockey. As her arms come towards her midpoint, her arms adduct and she's able to hit the ball. Rotation and circumduction. Rotation is a twist in action where part of the body twists around its long axes. Rotation only occurs at pivot joints and ball and socket joints. If you imagine the person here is turning left and right, a sporting example would be a twist in gymnastics. The opposite of this is circumduction. Circumduction is a combination of flexion, adduction, abduction and extension. Circumduction movements look like you're drawing a small circle in the air. Circumduction only occurs at ball and socket joints and condyloid joints. Here you can see he's rotating his arm in a circumduction motion. An example of this would be butterfly in swimming. Dorsiflexion and plantar flexion. Dorsiflexion is when the toes are raised up towards the shins and dorsiflexion only occurs at the ankle, the hinge joint. As you can see, the toes point up and is dorsiflexed. A sporting example would be speed walking or any type of running where the ankle moves upwards towards the sky. The opposite of this is plantar flexion. Plantar flexion is when the toes are pointed away from the shins or downwards. Plantar flexion only occurs at an ankle and the hinge joints. Here you can see the toes point towards the ground as it plantar flex. Ligaments and tendons. During movement, two connective tissues play a very important role in the joints. Ligaments can take bone to bone and hold the joint together. They are tough and slightly elasticated. They help to prevent dislocations. And dislocation happens when the bone is forced out of place. Tendons. Tendons connect muscles to bone. Tendons ensure that when a muscle contracts, the effort is transferred to the bone and the movement is created. The tendon allows movement to happen and the ligaments prevent the movement going too far and dislocating the joint.